The B-17 was known as the Flying Fortress, a bomber that flew hundreds of missions over Europe during World War II. Today, only a handful are still flying, and one of them, quite fittingly, named the Sentimental Journey, now flies across North America on a new mission to remind the public of the sacrifices made by members of the military. We want them to learn more about what our veterans did in these airplanes, but we want to honor our veterans, uh, give them a chance to come out and see these airplanes. Those who have this week include a 96-year-old veteran from Vermont, a B-17 co-pilot who was shot down over Germany and held as a POW. He loved being in the airplane again, and it was an honor for us to be able to make that available to him. And he signed the inside of our bomb bay. We uh, collect signatures from a lot of the people that flew these airplanes when they visit. For others, it's a chance to remember loved ones. Uh, I had two great uncles that were both uh, in B-17s during World War II. One was a navigator, one was a pilot. Seeing a plane that they would have flown in is just means a lot. It's knowing their history and uh, it gives me a little more, not that I didn't, but I have a lot of respect for them. It gives me a lot more respect for what they went through. This bomber was donated to the Arizona Commemorative Air Force Museum in the late 70s. And after a seven year restoration, they began spending summers on tour. This week, it's been visiting Plattsburgh, a community with a rich history of military aviation. It's nice they stopped into Plattsburgh, remind the area of its heritage, was a bomber base for a long time. It's now Clinton County's airport, but it still was Plattsburgh Air Force Base and always will be to those of us who were stationed at it. Retired Colonel Joe McNichols hopes having the bomber here also raises interest in the base museum, where he and a half dozen other veterans volunteer. It has also reunited him with an old friend. I was here from 79 to 1984, and Joe and I went through initial FB 111 training together, and then we were on a crew together for a couple of years, and uh, we were here the whole time in the, in the squadrons. This was a bit of a homecoming for you. It is a very big homecoming for me. It's an honor. The plane will be at the General Aviation Building at Plattsburgh International Airport through Sunday. There will be tours and even flights, with tickets ranging from 425 to $850. You'll find a link to information on our website at mountainlake.org.